Hi, I'm Dale Poston. Thank you for watching our videos produced at a1mc.net. Today we're going to talk just a little bit about a hardware software relationship. I think this is probably the number one most overlooked or misunderstood concept of computers, period. People do not understand the importance of the relationship between the software and the hardware. The, the hardware, of course, is anything you can touch. It's your processor, your motherboard, your case, your power supply. You know, these tangible items are your hardware, the most important being the CPU, the brain of the computer. The software is the load that's on the CPU or the load that's on your computer. And the simplest analogy that I know of would be a small pickup truck loaded with firewood. Simple as it is, I don't, people don't want to acknowledge the importance of this relationship. Your computer will be pushed to its limits. It's like a NASCAR. You know, you don't go buy the most eco economic vehicle that you can purchase and think you're going to keep up with NASCAR on the racetrack. A processor will be pushed to its limits over its lifetime. There's operating system updates. There's a new service pack. There's a new version of QuickBooks or a new version of your software, whatever it is. There's downloads off the internet. There's new security program. Security updates. Security, security used to update every week. Now it updates every few hours. Each year, there's a bigger program, a newer program. The CPUs or the computers that are being sold in the stores are three to five year old hardware or older. Sometimes I see hardware being sold brand new in a brand new computer with brand new software and it's eight, nine, ten year old technology in the computer. I'll give you an example. You go out and you buy a Windows 7 Professional or Windows 8 Professional and it's on a single core Pentium 2.0 gigahertz computer or worse, a Celeron. I remember when the Vista came out, you know, you had the three and four hundred dollar laptops, which was Vista running on a Celeron. And six months later it would crash out. People would call me, I need help. I can't help you. I can't fix that. It didn't work when it came out of the store. Well, why are they selling it? Why are all these people correct and, and Dale's wrong? Uh, Microsoft and, and, uh, and all these companies that are manufacturing the computers and selling the computers. Everybody that I mention makes a profit on every time you buy a computer. They make a profit. They don't make a profit on how long your computer lasts. So they don't care. As long as your computer lasts one year, it's out of warranty. As far as they're concerned, it could die the next day and you've got to go buy another computer. They make more profit. So, uh, and it seems to be from demand is uh, to buy a cheaper computer. So who's making the most profit? The people selling the cheapest computers. How do they sell cheap computers? 10 year old technology, brand new software. The analogy that I have is a small pickup truck. It's loaded with firewood. It can't get up the hill and you want your computer tech to fix it. Sometimes you can. You can clean up computers. You can delete out the temp folders. You can uh, minimize how many programs are running in the background. But, you know, if, if your processor is so small, it's still a small processor. And, you know, you just have to understand how important that is. You have to understand that it's the really, really good computers, the computers that uh, the Microsoft engineers, the Intel engineers, really good computer techs, the, the computers that we're using, they're not even sold in the stores, okay? So, you know, people say, they call me up, what kind of computer do I need? Buy the best one in the store. Well, I don't need all that. Okay, well, you, I guess you're going to throw it away in a year, year and a half, you're not going to use a computer anymore the rest of your life? No. Well, then you need to get all the computers you can because there's going to be update. It's going to be a constant, more firewood's going to be put in your, fire, in your little pickup truck the whole life of that computer. And make up your mind how long you want your computer to last because if you, I think if you get a four or five year computer, you get more for your money. But you need to start understanding uh, CPU specifications, how to appraise a computer, and understanding that software to hardware relationship. It's not necessarily how many programs are on your computer or how much data is on your hard drive. That is not the load in, in your little pickup truck. Loading your pickup truck is the programs that you do have, how many of them are running at the same time, or how many of them are loaded in, when you turn your computer on. A lot of programs are automatically loaded when you turn your computer on. There's ways to reduce that. 
but you just need to understand that there is a hardware software relationship and it's extremely important and most of the computers being sold in the stores today that relationship that pickup truck is almost full when you buy it so a year or two years down the road your computer is going to slow down and that's why it's important to get all of the computer that you can afford and really anywhere up to fifteen or eighteen hundred dollars in my opinion is a, a fifteen hundred dollar computer is a much much better purchase than a five hundred dollar computer uh, in other words i think that if you're going to own a computer for the rest of your life you're better off buying fifteen hundred dollar computers and and you know have it maintained properly when you need it and when it's wore out it's got to be replaced replace it you'll probably get just as much computer for your money as you will buying five hundred dollar computers the $500 computer is going to be replaced three times more often than the $1,500 computer. The $1,500 computer is going to run faster, more efficient, it's going to be more enjoyable, it's not going to waste your time, and it's not going to need the required maintenance as frequent as the $500 computer. The $500 computer is going to need a lot of maintenance. It, it's a toy. I've been in doctor's offices where they purchased $500, $600 computers. I set them up, I put them in high performance mode, I did everything I could to help them. They called me back, they weren't happy. Somehow it was my fault that this computer won't do the job. Listen, you don't buy a home operating system on a single core computer and, and expect to run a multi-million dollar business with it. Don't do it. It's just my advice. I hope you get something out of this video that's useful today. Have a great day. Thanks for watching A1MC.net videos.